What's up guys, this is iPhones and iPods, and I have a very exciting video for you guys today, and that is the jailbreak for your 3.0 firmware for your iPhone, iPhone 3G, and iPod Touch first generation. The iPod Touch second generation and the iPhone 3GS are not available at the moment for this 3.0 jailbreak. And um, before I give you any links and get into this video, I want you guys to check out the dev team blog. These are the people who make the uh, quick ponage tool and all the stuff for you, for you guys to be able to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch. And I want you guys to read all this stuff that I'm highlighting right now before you do anything. It's very important. And um, obviously the 3GS is not supported by this or the iPod Touch second gen, so don't try this if you are one of those devices. And also this um, only works for Mac at the moment. So um, keep that in mind also. They are working on Windows 1, but this is only for Mac. Obviously that I'm running right now. So Mac users, no 3GS, no iPod Touch second gen. That's important to know. And um, th right for this video, this is the jailbreak tutorial. I will have a unlocking video shortly after they um, post it in Cydia because Ultra Snow, which is the unlocking tool for your 3G, will be available in Cydia short, um, should be today, I'm not positive, so um, without further ado, let me get into this video. Alright guys, the first step is actually getting the program itself, so we're going to go to the uh, Dev Team blog, I'll have a link in the description, I'm already on it, and we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page, not the bottom, like the middle of the page, still under that weird name I can't read some Latin or something, and we're going to go to the unofficial mirror section, you don't want to download the torrent one because you have to have some other stuff to uh, to download and stuff, so it might be hard. But I'm just going to click on the bottom one and download the Ponage tool. All these links are possible, and obviously you have, you have to be on a Mac to do this. So I'm just going to click OK, let it download. Depending on uh, speed of your computer, it might take longer. Mine's only about at 10 seconds now. It's pretty quick. I'm just going to keep the video rolling for you guys. I just went up to a minute. You know what, I'm going to cut it for you guys, and um, once it's done downloading, I'll proceed you guys to the next step. Alright, so once you've downloaded the Ponage tool and extracted it and everything, we're going to have to open it, as always, obviously, and um, we're going to actually start the process of jailbreaking your device. So, obviously, before you open it up, make sure your device is connected. And uh, once it's connected, it's going to give you a little warning message that they're not responsible for any damage, obviously, so we're going to press OK and you're going to click your device, iPhone first gen, iPod touch first gen, or iPhone 3G. I'm going to click iPhone 3G because I am I am an iPhone 3G. So after that we click to continue. And um, now it's going to select the IPSW bundle file and we're going to click that. Pretty simple, straightforward. And uh, now it's going to create an IPSW that you, can re that you can use to restore your device in iTunes. So click yes to continue and um, it says do you have an iPhone 3G contract that you would activate normally in iTunes if you are on an AT&T or whatever if you're on a contract with your phone click yes if your iPhone doesn't have a contract click no so now it's going to build the IPSW file now this next step is a little bit different because you have to actually go back in iTunes and restore your device with the custom IPSW file it's making at the moment so this could take a while but um, I'll cut the video for you guys for the length of time of this video, and you can uh, just pause the video whenever. So um, yet again, I'm going to explain to you. I'm going to explain this to you guys again. This is making a custom IPSW firmware, and um, when this is done making it, we're going to go into iTunes and restore your device with that firmware. Now, don't worry; you can back up as you were before, so don't worry about that. So um, just let that do its thing, and I'll cut the video once it's done. Also, one more thing, it will ask you for your password. Just type that in and keep on going. It's no, no biggie. <laughs> Alright, once it's done creating your IPSW file, and like I said, this could take a while, um, it's going to give you a pop-up. It's going to say, has your iPhone 3G, or whatever your device you're running, it's going to be different for you if you don't have, it, if you don't have an iPhone 3G. It's going to say, has it been pwned before? And it says, does it have the pineapple logo? Now, if you're unsure of it, click no. But, um... If you didn't have the pineapple logo when you jailbreak the other time, just click yes. But if you aren't sure, just click no. 
but I'm going to click yes and it says close the Ponage tool application, put your iPhone in recovery mode and start iTunes and restore your custom firmware bundle. So just click OK and click to the next step. Alright guys, the next step in uh, jailbreaking your device is entering it into DFU mode. Now, if it doesn't automatically uh, tell you to enter DFU mode, that's fine. You can just click the button at the top, like it did for mine. Um, you have to be in DFU mode to install the custom IP firmware, and um, which I'll show you in a second. So we're going to click, like my mouse is about to do, at the top, enter DFU mode. And it's going to take you through the steps of uh, DFU mode. So we're going to turn our device off. Let that do its thing. Oh shit! Just kidding. And um, it's pretty simple on-screen directions. I mean, anybody could follow this. I hope. All right. So now it's gonna prepare you to home home in power for uh, in five seconds. And you can hold it for ten seconds. Hold home and power for 10 seconds when it tells you to. Now you release power button and hold for 10 seconds. And it's going to say, if you did it correctly, you've successfully entered DFU mode. Now close the Ponage Tool application, start iTunes, and restore with your custom firmware bundle. So I'm going to X out the Ponage tool, and um, you should uh, Ponage tool should have made a custom firmware and it should be on your desktop. Uh, it wasn't. It kind of isn't unclear in the uh, program, but I have it right here. It should say custom inside of it. So we're going to go into iTunes, and you don't touch, don't press anything on your device because iTunes is going to come up with a pop-up saying that you, your device is in recovery mode. So now we're going to restore with your uh, special custom firmware. So we're going to hold option, I mean, yeah, hold option and click restore. So option, click restore. Alright, so you're going to get a pop-up. And you're going to click the firmware that says custom IPSW. It should say in this little red yellow thing. And we're going to click open. Now it's going to extract your software and um, it's going to start the jailbreaking slash uh, restoring process of your device. So um, let's see how long this takes. You know, then white screen. Oh, you know what that means? <laughs> now. This could take a while because it's restoring your device, so I'm going to cut the video for purposes of time so this video isn't an hour long. But once it's done, it's going to say your device has been restored to its factory settings and you're going to have this pineapple logo, obviously, because you are jailbroken now. Hold on, let me get that in focus for you guys. And so now it's all a matter of uh, starting up and see what it's done. Now, obviously, you can go back in iTunes and... Uh, Restores a backup of, of what you were before, but uh, just for this purpose, I'm I'm not going to. I'm just going to uh, just show you the the application and stuff. And that city is actually on there, so uh, let's just see what happens. Just wait. Yeah, that'll go away in a second. Like I just said. It's restarting if you didn't know. Alrighty, I just got the vibrate to see if it'll work. Same plug into iTunes, but it's fine. All right, it's recognizing it. All righty. There we go, guys. Cydia on your 3.0 firmware on your iPhone, iPhone 3G, 
or iPod Touch first generation. So let's just open up Studio just to show you guys that I am actually on. I'm doing this is legit. And uh, sorry, I'm not on my Wi-Fi. Uh, let's just click user graphical only. It's gonna have to update some stuff. But guys, I'm running City on a 3.0 firmware on my iPhone 3G. So uh, if you follow those steps, it should be pretty easy. And um, I hope you guys were could follow them easily. And um, did my best I could. So uh, there you guys go. Um, make sure you follow me on Twitter and all that stuff to get my latest updates. And um, thanks, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Alright guys, I'm just going to do this real quick at the end of my video just to show you guys that I am running 3.0 just for the people who aren't believing this, this is true. So there's Cydia, there's that, the voice notes, and I'll just go in my settings real quick if I can find it. Go to my settings and show you that I'm on 3.0. About. And there we go. Version 3.0. There's your proof. Alright guys, there you go.